check it out. What's up everybody, Super Direct Fan here for weekly update number 28. So what's new on this Friday? Um, well first, I just want to thank you guys for all the support with me and uh, that dude in blues whole collab that we were doing over the past weekend and all the videos that we posted up from that. I still have a couple other small like hangar party videos that I'll be uploading uh, probably next week sometime but apparently you guys loved all the collab stuff though. I know the Mustang review has like over 11,000 views I think and uh, tons of great feedback about you know me and David's videos and everything. Thanks for all your support on all the other reviews that I've been doing as well. Uh, the Challenger review I still have to edit and post up. That'll probably come uh, either this weekend or next week and um, yeah I got a few other reviews lined up that are cars that you guys have been requesting that I'm finally uh, able to do and so that'll be good so uh, definitely some great stuff coming up here in the next couple of weeks so what's new with the BRZ one thing um, I didn't take it to the dealer yet to have him look at the passenger window and I'm glad I didn't because I noticed another small little issue today is the uh, passenger side tail light has condensation in it again now they replaced the passenger side tail light with a brand new tail light because that was the first one to have condensation and they replaced it with a new tail light then the driver side one had condensation and they sealed that one instead of replacing it and the seal job seems to be working better than the new tail light because now the new tail light is developing condensation again and uh, the one that's sealed is still fine so I'll probably have them go and seal the passenger one you know all under warranty uh, whenever I take it into the dealership next time but these taillights just love getting condensation in them either that or I have bad luck with them so uh, yeah but that's really the only thing new with the BRZ so I'll send it back to me at the news desk for this week's news right so for this week's news the first thing is Jaguar released their uh, CX-17 crossover concept and uh, it's the thing that I was mentioning last week that looks really awesome with the LEDs and the front air scoops and uh, yeah they released the whole car it has F-type taillights basically and looks exactly how you would expect a Jaguar SUV to look like which is very graceful, beautiful and elegant. I hope they make it because it looks fantastic. The interior is really space agey, it looks amazing but obviously that's not going to be production you know just expect basically a uh, you know, Jaguar XJ kind of interior on this car, but uh, otherwise though, it's amazing. I really hope they make it. Um, another really pretty car to come out at the Frankfurt Motor Show this week was the uh, Mercedes Concept S-Class Coupe, which is basically, they're getting rid of the CL-Class, and so they're making just an S-Class Coupe, and uh, I really like the nose on this car. It has a, a very distinct nose, and I just, I really like the way it looks. It's very swoopy, and especially in this color, it looks really nice. So uh, yeah, that's going to get made, I'm sure, and there's your competition for the new Cadillac flagship. So uh, that's going to be hard to beat. That's a beautiful looking Mercedes. Another car that looks better than expected is the BMW i8 that was fully revealed finally at Frankfurt. And uh, they kept a lot of the concept car ideas. I thought they would really tone this car down. It wouldn't look as amazing or have all the cool features that the concept did. But this car still retains the gullwing doors, which is amazing. I think this might be the first BMW with vertical doors, but I'm not sure. I'm not a BMW expert. But that's very cool that they're uh, doing the outrageous doors and everything. So, uh, looks spectacular. I actually asked a lot of you guys on Facebook yesterday what you thought about this car on the Super Direct Fan Facebook page, and everyone's like, I don't want one. I mean, because they're saying it's going to be $135,000 and you get like 362 horsepower. 0 to 60 time of 4.4 seconds, which isn't bad, but you can get that performance out of a Porsche 911 for 80 grand. So it's probably going to be a tough sell, so I'm going to be interested to see just how well these cars do. I mean, I'm hoping they do well, because I love the technology behind it, but um, and the design is gorgeous, but it might just be priced a little bit too high. And of course at Frankfurt you always have some tuner cars that show up. Thanks to Autoblog for these pictures of uh, the first car, which is the Mansory La Revolution, which is basically the Ferrari F12 Berlinetta, which is one of the most beautiful cars in production, in my opinion, right now. And then they just made it super busy and crazy looking. It looks like a Batmobile or something now, which is cool, but I just prefer the beauty of the Ferrari. If I want something that's in my face and stuff, I would rather have a Lamborghini, because that's what they're all about. But that's going to, I mean, that looks cool, except for the interior. The interior looks like it's done by McDonald's with the color scheme and everything. It's just not a good looking interior color at all. But I can live with the exterior. It's just a little bit too in your face for my taste, but hey. 
So another interesting tuner car that came out of Frankfurt was the Hamann Nervudo, which is uh, basically an Aventador that has some nose scoops, a roof scoop, and has an exhaust system which is designed to just shoot fire, which the normal Aventador does already. And uh, especially with those rims on it, not a big fan of the way that looks. Again, as far as exotics go in my opinion, they're beautiful the way they are. No need to mess with them. That's just my personal opinion, but I mean, I guess that'll suit a certain demographic of people that say, you know what, the Aventador is just a little boring in my opinion, let's just make it crazy. And so that's what they did. So uh, it's going to have 60 more horsepower or something too from an advanced ECU, like as if an Aventador wasn't fast enough already. So that's it for all the Frankfurt news. There's a lot of other European only cars that we don't get here in America that, you know, they've updated and things like that. Nothing that I really want to talk about though. Uh, but the last thing I do want to talk about is a huge rumor, and so don't get your hopes up or anything, but there has been rumors, according to GT Channel, that there is an affordable lightweight Honda Roadster in the works. And they're saying... When we're talking lightweight, we're talking 2,000 pounds, which is a full 700 pounds less than the BRZ and the FRS. They're saying it could have the motor out of a Honda Fit, which is 130 horsepower, but in a car that's 2,000 pounds, that would be amazing. And, um, yeah, they're saying it can be, you know, extremely small, and uh, they want to go for $20,000, which is interesting. I mean, maybe they're kind of seeing that Toyota's been hinting at a Del Sol revival, and, you know, kind of, they want to do a car that's even cheaper than the FRS, that's going to be, you know, slower, smaller, more lightweight probably. And so this could be Honda trying to plan a competitor for that car. And uh, this is very early on, obviously, if they're even building it, period. But, uh, you know, so they're saying 2015 or 2016 for this, which I find hard to believe. I mean, to develop a car like that, I would say no earlier than like 2017 probably. But that's just my opinion. But anyway... Yeah, that's a huge rumor, though. There hasn't been any credible sources to back that up. But um, we can all dream, right? That'd be a pretty sweet car. So yeah, guys, that's all the news for this week. So I'll send it back to me in the car. All right, guys, I'll leave you with a nice little acceleration here. Like I always do. smoother this time but uh still tons of fun as you know it's not as much fun as doing that acceleration in the mustang would be but uh still excellent fun love this car love getting the great gas mileage and the nimble handling it's a great car still love my brz so yeah thanks for watching guys and i'll see you next week take care